In the meantime, the president, Bola Tinubu, has encouraged Nigerians to maintain a positive outlook in, on the country. Tinubu stressed that optimism about the country will eventually lead to success. The president said this in his speech during the launch of the 3,112 housing units under the Renewed Hope Cities Initiative in the Federal Capital Territory. Tinubu making his first public appearance after returning from a two-week private visit to Paris said the citizens must learn to speak positive things about the country and remain hopeful despite ravaging challenges. Your Excellencies, the Governor of Nasrawa State, Minister of Federal Capital Territory, the Secretary to the Government of Federation, Minister of Housing and Urban Development. I listen to you. The diligent planning between your office and my office took a while. I was asking, when are we going to have a groundbreaking, not a tornado? <laughs> and you said I should, I can go on my vacation, come back to do the groundbreaking. Here we are today. We are setting the goalposts right. The Minister of Housing and Urban Development, Ahmed Dangiwa, alongside other government officials at the event, expressed joy that the implementation of the renewed Hope Cities and Estates, as well as urban and slum upgrading programs, will further bridge the housing deficits in the country. Kamubi and pay towards ownership in monthly, either quarterly or annual installments and those who can pay outright purchase for high-income earners. The funding for this project will come from a mix of sponsors comprising the Federal Ministry of Housing and Urban Development budgetary allocations, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, the estate development loan they are having, and the public-private partnership with retail developers. As you will recall, Your Excellency, you have graciously approved the total sum of 126 billion naira from the 2023 supplementary and 2024 budget for these projects, including the slum upgrade and urban renewal. Of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we join millions of Nigerians in congratulating Mr. President and indeed Nigerians in the performance of the Super Eagles yesterday. We pray that they bring the trophy home by in a matter of a few days. Mr. President, let me commend you for the vision and foresight of separating the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing then and re-establishing the Federal Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Important occasion being the official launching of the Renew Hope Cities and Estates and the official groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of 3,112 housing units in Kasana, Abuja, under the renewed Hope Cities and Estates Program coordinated by the Federal Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Ohanez Ndigbo, a prominent Igbo socio-cultural organization, has slammed the government of President Bola Tinubu over its handling of the economy. The organization also blamed the previous administration for the economic downturn. Ohanez Ndigbo has, therefore, urged President Tinubu to take immediate action and seek help from renowned economists to steer the nation out of its financial crisis. The group also slammed the incompetence, nepotism and corruption that they said had plagued the economy under the former President Buhari and lamented that these issues have only worsened on the Tinubu. Soaring prices of essential goods, a weakening Naira a, and widespread suffering among Nigerians were cited as evidence of the dire situation. The group advocated for President Tinubu to assemble a team of distinguished economists based on merit, not ethnicity, to tackle the crisis. Names like Dr. Ngozi Okonjo-Iwela, Dr. Obi Ezekwesili, and Dr. Akiwumi Adeshino were specifically mentioned as individuals whose expertise could be invaluable. 
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.